Well, hello everybody, and welcome to this uh, Dreamweaver tutorial. Um, my name is CGRDCA. I'm also known as Artie. This is the Artie Productions, Artie Productions video, and I'm just going to teach you the basics of Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. So right now we have, um, well, as you can see, if you just start up uh, Dreamweaver, you get a display window, something like this. I have CS4, but for some people, they have like either CS3 or CS5 already updated. But I have CS4 with me. I'm just going to run the basics of how to design a website in general or know the basics of Dreamweaver. So what we're going to do is we're just going to worry about HTML for now. We're not going to worry about all of the other stuff. Okay, we're going to worry about all this other stuff later. We're going to create some CSS files too. So we're going to worry about HTML and CSS for now. So once we start up this window, we're going to click on HTML. Now, it will bring up this little screen here that's already blank and white. Now, <clears throat> so right now we have these tabs over here. Now, I minimize these tabs, but I can like expand them so you can actually see. This is what it looks like actually. But if you just, you know, expand them or, you know, decrease them or expand them, doesn't matter. I tend to use this because it saves up a lot of space, but let's just uh open up the tabs for now so you can actually see what's going on so here we got uh this blank page this is our html page right now we're looking at the design view and here are the three tabs here you get to use uh you get to use the design view which we are in the split view is basically the code itself and the design view all like on top of each other and you can use the scroll bar to you know scroll up and down and whatnot to uh expand and then the code is again it's just all coding that's if you want it. if you're really strong in coding you can just use this code window to code up the website so which is just either html or x actually it's xhtml since yes yeah, since we are using xhtml but so that means we have to use like certain commands and whatnot and whatnot but we're i'm just going to teach you the basics of dreamweaver for now and you know in this tutorial video, I'm going to explain like how to insert text, you know, how to insert an image. Um, pretty much just well, let's let's worry about the, like the text, the div tags, and whatnot. How to insert tables. We're going to teach you all that. So, all right. So we're just going to learn the basics here. So, right now we're just going to rename our site. The, this is where the tile bar is, which I pointed at. So we're going to rename it as home. Pretty much, we're going to rename it as that. And right now, we're just going to probably type in some text. Now, again, you can always type in text. This is the easy part. Uh, you can, you know, type in any text you want. If I can spell right. <laughs> All right. Something like this. Now, this is just normal text if you just type it in. But if you look in the code or split view, this is what it looks like. So, tornadoes are cool. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a big weather geek myself. Um, I love weather, you know, events and whatnot. So, and if it, this thing will cooperate on me, if it does, there we go. Okay. So right now we're gonna probably um, we're probably gonna let's insert a background image. How's that? We're gonna insert a background image. So we're gonna go down here to page properties, and now we're gonna go to appearance html we're going to go to see background image we're going to go to browse and we're going to go to images and i have something in here actually it's a little background i put in uh we're going to put uh let's see how about in this one why not press okay press okay and then we're going to click apply and we're going to click okay so as you can see, my background is a little big. Uh, you don't see it that well, so I'm going to de uh, decrease the docs here. Again, that's what it looks like, pretty much. Um, if you want to preview it in your browser, um, there's a little world button here you can press. You press this, you can preview into your browsers here. Now, if you don't have uh, a browser that you have in here, you can click on edit browser list and this is where it says this plus sign here you can click the plus sign and you can name your browser and then f browse for the application which if you have a desktop shortcut 
this is where you will browse a folder click on the desktop press OK and this will come up with your browser and then I usually so I use Google Chrome as my primary browser and I just click the primary browser and you press OK so and so if you want to preview this in your browser just press F well the save one will come up so we're just going to click on save and we're going to rename this as um, so we're going to name this test we'll just name it test uh, home so test home and then we're going to save it and we're just going to preview in, in our browser why is it not working come on the browser no longer exists okay um oh it's because see i'm using a, a flash drive and it's um it's on that browser Pacific on the Pacific computer so I'm gonna have to edit the um oh yeah so it's on the wrong computer that's why so let me go fix this this is actually easy to fix so where is Google Chrome there it, scroll down here here it is so Google Chrome that's where I want chrome.exe yes press OK so I believe that should work now there we go so here is the um uh, this is the actual background itself. This is how you place a background into a page. Pretty simple. Um, now we're going to type in some text. Uh, we're going to, you know, let's say, let's type in some, you know, as you know, if you can't see the text because it's automatically black, so we're just going to highlight this, all the text, if we can. There we go. Page. Pro we're going to go down to page properties. And we're going to go to, I believe, appearance, CSS. We're going to go to text color. And we're going to go to white. And we're going to click apply, and we're going to press OK. So this is basically your cast, uh, cast uh, cading style sheet. Is basically um, I assign the text to be white. So that's how you um, assign text within the document or within the HTML. If you want to look this in split view, this is what it looks like. So basically what we did was we titled the page home and we also um created a castaning style sheet the RD, Produ RD productions color white so that's the CSS uh folder we got here and then the background we created is the body background images 20 big one dot jpeg which is in my images folder here on the bottom right here in my images folder that I already embedded so and that's and you type in the text and same thing. So that's how what the code view looks like and that's how you type in text. Now so we inserted background image, we inserted text. Now there's one more thing I want to go over. The next one I want to go over is inserting tables. Now insert tables, it's pretty simple. You just go to insert and go to table. And we're just gonna create a I don't know, we'll create a create a three row. Uh, with two columns, uh, three rows with two columns. If I can, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. Press the tab key. There we go. Now, table width. Uh, we can, I don't know, go percent. Um, let's uh, let's go seventy-five percent. That should be well enough. Border thickness. Uh, I usually keep it at like two or three. I'll just keep it at two. Cell pad spacing. Put it at five. Spacing five. Um, I'll click none as a header. And we're just gonna. You can add a caption to it, like add a title, and then add a summary to the table what it what it's supposed to do. But we're just gonna press OK. As you can see, our table has been created. Now, if I want to align this in the center, we could just see where this align properties button is. Click on the default button and just click center, and it'll center your table. So that's basically the table inserting a table. So, so again, you can insert text in here. Again, insert text. You can also insert an image if you want. Insert image. And we're just going to insert uh, a Facebook icon. How about that? And you can title it uh, Facebook. You can title it as Facebook. And boom, Facebook is there. You can decrease the image to something that, reset the image, whatnot. It's pretty cool. And uh, you can also embed. Uh, uh, videos in here. Um, let's go to uh, Google Chrome. We're just gonna go to. Um, I'm gonna go to YouTube for a second here. 
And I'm going to embed one of my uh, videos that I have with um, so we're going to go to my videos here and we're going to go to this uh, video I made so and we're going to go to embed not the share one but the embed we're going to go right click copy and we're going to go to split view and see where the cursor is and see where that cursor is that's the space where you got to embed the video so we're going to delete that we're going to copy and paste it in there and we're gonna make sure we got the closing tag because I accidentally deleted it so it should be TD there we go so that's basically it and we're gonna go refresh and there's our video so we're gonna go to design view now we're gonna click hold we're gonna press and hold control s and we're gonna press, uh, press F12 that will bring us the browser and it'll take a while here we go and if we press play it will bring up this video here and again I'm recording so it might it might buffer a little bit and plus my internet's I don't know why my internet's kinda slow because there's actually a big snowstorm out outside right now so and again it has wait till this plays for a little bit but as you can see this will work I mean if this embed wor is working, yes, yeah, here we go. And again, the video works. Again, it's it's taking a while to like, you know, buffer. But again, that videos work. So that's how you um, embed a video into a temp uh, in a table. Um, last but not least, we're gonna actually uh, actually insert links. Um, so links. Uh, let's see. What's gonna what's insert. Um, Let's insert a link to this page, this YouTube page we have. Let's insert a link to there. So we're going to highlight this whole thing, right click, copy. We're going to go into here. Uh, let's see, let's go to, let's type in severe thunderstorm. We're going to highlight this whole entire text. And we're going to go to link down here in the bottom, right click, paste. That's all you got to do and boom there's a link right there so if we're gonna test that out we're gonna press control s f12 and there's my video but we're gonna click on the link and it'll bring me to the YouTube page so there's my link and same YouTube page pretty cool so and then if I want to go to my Facebook page you can do the same thing with a picture just copy now I'm just going to use it as an example, but it's not going to be really Facebook, so press Control S, F12. And we're going to preview in our browser, and we're going to click... If we can pause that video for a second. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, tables. Again, links are a pain in the butt when you use tables. So, this is the source, but the and the link didn't save for some reason. I don't know why, but... Oh yeah, see, well, I don't know why it disappears like that, but eh, it might be a bug issue I have to fix, but actually I can probably just save it up here. I can beat the system. There we go. Now if I go to F12, I think it should work. There we go, now it works. So let's click the link, and boom, there it is. So if you have bug problems with Dreamweaver, I mean, just go to File, and then just click Save some reason if I press control S and then F12 it's gonna throw off my link and it's gonna I don't know, accidentally delete itself so pretty much and that's basically it that's the basics of Dreamweaver um, if you guys have any questions or concerns about the basics of Dreamweaver or have any more questions uh, please uh, subscribe um, friend me on YouTube and I'll catch you next time on my next tutorial video catch you later